things since are pretty then. low when I got my Jeanette Rankin scholarship. Mm -hmm. um, I was facing a divorce. Um, I had five children. One had Down syndrome. I didn't have a penny. I, all my financial um, support was taken away and I never applied for a scholarship. I was working at the Mall of America and I knew that if I wanted to support myself I needed a bachelor's degree. Nobody in my family has been to college. Um, I just knew about college from out in the workforce and a supervisor told me about the Jeanette Rankin scholarship. And so I applied and I had never applied for a scholarship in my life. Never? Never have applied. I, cause college isn't in my world. Right. Um, College is for someone else. College is for the few, the the rich, the privileged. I just don't know about college. Right. So she really encouraged me to fill it out, and I did. And I didn't know how to write one, and I just kind of told my story, and that I needed their help because nobody's helping me to go to college. And I was a recipient, and that was my first year back to college. I say that I'm kind of the American Idol winner in education. It's true. Because <laughs> we all had to start with our audition, and the Janet Rankin scholarship was my audition. So when I went back to college I was very shy and I was in a domestic abusive uh, marriage that I was getting divorced from so my self-confidence was very low when I went to college and I went to one class and went home. I didn't even talk to anyone. I was so scared to be in college and my family and friends thought I was crazy to quit my job and go back to college with no money and while I was there on the scholarship at Normandale I got involved with the Honor Society and I ran for president of four states and 56 campuses. So me, who was shy with absolutely no self-confidence, had wow. to ask students to vote for me. And they did. And they did. And so I became president of uh, four states and 56. And then I was nominated by my college to be the top uh, community college student in the state. And you have to be nominated, so I can't just apply for that. And that was also true with some of the other scholarships that you've been awarded since yep. then, right? You have to be nominated. For how many this year? Uh, I, won, I was one of two in the nation to win four national scholarships that all have to be nominated by your college for. And Cook Scholarship, yes. And that is uh, $30,000 a year for uh, up to three years uh, to finish your bachelor's degree. Very competitive. Um, wow. Yeah. That is... At my age. <laughs> Oh, stop so, it. <laughs> that is unbelievable. That has been, and you have to do a lot of community service um, to get some of these awards that are based on community service as well. Right. As academics, so. And now when will you finish your degree? Um, in fall, in the fall of 08, I'll be a senior at New School University in New York City, which is fully paid for. And they even gave me a laptop, a brand new oh Dell gosh. laptop. And I will be taking media studies and I want to be an investigative uh, journalist. So I'll be living in New York City on full scholarship. Wow. And I, I started college on financial aid, work study, and nothing but a dream, and the Janet Rankin Scholarship is what started me.